Welcome to Windows Media Player 10 by Dr. John Schrage, copyright 2005. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I know everybody, everybody knows all about Windows Media Player, but I'm telling you, there's all kinds of stuff going on in Windows Media Player 10 that you don't know about. First off, we want to look and see what version of Windows Media Player you're working with. Go to Start, go to All Programs, and go to the Windows Media Player and bring it now. If you are the kind of person who does such things and plays with your Windows Media Player, you may have it may come up in some kind of skin. Like I, this is some strange skin that I have downloaded, and yours may look different. And you don't want to play Windows Media Player in a skin. It's certainly not for class purposes because the, the controls are going to be all over the place. You want to get it out of the skin mode if you've got it there, which will take some discovery on your part to figure out which icon it is. In this case, it's this icon. So you get it back to the full screen mode. Now, what version of Windows Media Player are you running? Go to Help, About Windows Media Player. Hooray, I've got version 10. You may have an older version. I know, it works. But I'm going to tell you that Windows Media Player 10 or higher will have the, the better codecs for playing the videos more smoothly and getting the colors right and everything. If you don't have Windows Media Player 10, go to Microsoft.com, search on Windows Media Player 10. There'll be a link there for downloading it, and it'll all be fine. Once you have it installed and bring it up, there's just a few details. I mean, you guys already know about how to play, how to fast forward, stop, pause. I'm sure everybody's good with that. There are a handful of controls, though, you may not be so familiar with. For example, this little button here folds away that panel and helps your, your, uh, your, your video take over more of the screen. You can actually take over the whole screen by using the volt view fuel screen uh, button. Uh, that won't work right now because I don't have anything to play, but if you're playing something, it will take over the whole screen, which can be very helpful. But the most helpful feature, which hardly anybody knows about, is this little button right here, which is the Now Playing Options. And if you click on that, this is where you get things like what visualization you're using. There's another way through the, uh, through the menus to get to that same set of choices. But you want to go down here to Enhancements. Tell it to show you the enhancements. And down here in the Enhancements, you're going to get a series of options to help you control how the video and audio that you're viewing through Windows Media Player 10 looks. Uh, most of these you're not ever going to use. I mean, if you're having trouble with the base, you might want to adjust the graphic equalizer, and you might want to adjust how you're handling your media and your email. Don't worry about things like that, or how fast you play the video, or the difference between loud and soft sounds on your sound system. If you have problems with these things, this is where you find it. But the most important one is going to be the video settings. Depending on exactly how you're watching the video, how your video card is set up, how uh, you have the screen adjusted on your display, sometimes the videos are going to be too bright, and sometimes are going to be too dark. I've worked hard to make sure that this is not a big problem, but sometimes it's just going to happen. This is where you're going to get things like brightness and contrast and the hues to help you adjust it to a more pleasant viewing experience. If, uh, often you're going to find that especially the videos are going to be too dark. All you do is crank up the brightness or maybe adjust the contrast and things are going to be good. Most of the rest of these uh, settings, well, you know, if it turns out there's a your monitor has certain color issues and you want to adjust the hue or you want to adjust the saturation or whatever, that you're welcome to do any of those things. When you're done adjusting, making those adjustments, you just close that panel and you'll be back to your viewer. That'll be very helpful. You really get more out of the experiences if the uh, colors are all adjusted and the brightness is just adjusted just right. So get familiar with Windows Media Player 10. It has lots more features than most people are aware of, but those are the ones most useful for academic purposes and hopefully that'll really help enhance your enjoyment of this uh, of the, of the multimedia features of this course. This has been Dr. John Shruggy, who produced, wrote, and directed this video, copyright 2005.